good morning. Today I woke up at like 7, 10 and I didn't get up out of bed till like maybe half seven. But I'm honestly a big procrastinator when it comes to getting out of bed because I hate the morning. I'm even 9 a.m. today, which makes things all the more worse, I think. Um, so this is my room, firstly. Yeah, um, not much to it. She's just, that's the jumper I'm wearing to school today, after. Um, it's just a room. This is the desk that I pretend to do some study on. And this is my bathroom where I get ready every day. And it's, yeah, the light is like censored. And if you don't look too close, it's actually clean. Um, before I go, I just want to say a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Ashley, I'm 19. I'm a third year pharmacy student uh, at the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, RCSI. It's cool and I really do enjoy it. So yeah, I'm happy to bring you along with me for my entire day. Today we have a simulation class at like nine and then we have a lab, which I'm really excited to show because we got this new like pharmacy building and it's like really cool, a pharmacy room. And it's like nice and specific to the pharmacy students and it's like a whole dispensary and it's just honestly, it's a really cool place and I really love having labs there. This is literally the outfit for the day. A jumper that I've had since I was like 12 years old. And then just some sweatpants and some Converse. Okay, so just before I head off real quick, I wanted to show you the kitchen that we have. This is the kitchen. It's actually kind of clean today, which I am happy about. Obviously we've got the bins, which are <laughs> always full. That's one thing about student accommodation is that you really have to have thick skin and a strong nose if you want to survive in student accommodation. I'm now outside and I'm headed towards college. It's honestly not that long of a walk. It's only like 17 minutes, which is like nice and chilling. It's honestly a nice day out today. I don't even have my jacket with me, which is definitely a decision. My mom would absolutely kill me for going to school without my jacket, but sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta live on the edge, man. If I said I didn't miss it, you know We look so much closer from a distance It's so easy to skim over and harder to find I don't want the closure, I've opened my mind I'm excited, but I'm also really scared for this thing on today because we barely have this. This is kind of a thing for more of the med students. Um, so it's just kind of new ground, new territory. But, hey. Not a Chris anymore If you come around, just push open the door I just got to school and I ran into my friend Isabel and we're heading over to our simulation lab now. Where are we going? Straight? Okay, yeah. We're about to head in. We made it here. There's no one here yet. It starts at 9. It is currently 8.54 in the a.m. I do not know a thing for this simulation class, but it's okay. I can embarrass myself in front of Isabel. Everything will be, everything will be happy. Like Everyone's basically here now, so we're kind of waiting for... Um, I think some of the patients to get here, like the groups to be worked out before we head in. Hi. Yeah. So we're getting ready now to go. So we're walking there now. Is it not different now? We are gonna talk about it. My name is Ahmed and I'm the pharmacist. How can I assist you? Okay, uh, I'm not to get uh, some help with quick small. I thought that was really good. Hi there, how are you today? Hi, yeah, yeah. I just wanted some of that um, cream that I got here before. How do you think that went? I don't know. Um, how would you be? Like that was your thinking there. Your... I feel like um, because. It hasn't relieved, been relieved at all with the medicine. Then I don't know. But well, what, 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 what do you think of the concerning things here? I think the rest of the bleeding is concerning. Um, I think the fact that it's been happening for the past couple of weeks as well, without um, not much relief. The key thing for me here is his age, and that there's a change in bowel habit. Okay. Like that's the key worrying thing. Like you know, you took the right thing. You're totally right. Like you know, and really. Yeah. Be clear with the patient, like you know, and you're reassuring, like you know. Mm -hmm. I know that's a very tough thing for to talk with as a group in terms of. Yeah. Uh, uh, should I be worried? Should I tell them? They might have to answer. Is that yeah. Something you can say to somebody. I guess you have to be patient-centered. It's it's it's. 
finding out what the patient thinks about and exploring their attitude to, to referral. Mm. Yeah. Probably isn't yeah. what I'd be thinking about there. That was the simulation and it was actually grand, like it was better than it's I thought so it good. it was honestly better than I thought it would go, but like as you can see, like it wasn't it wasn't my finest work, but you know, we did it and it's over. So like it's not the end of the world. Um, we had a little feedback session at the end with like the demonstrators or like the people that were leading it and they were telling us kind of just walking us through all the cases and it was honestly overall a good experience. So we left the library building over there and now we're going into the one, two, three building and um, we have a lecture at 11 and it's currently 11.06. We, that simulation thing lasted for the two hours but like it went over a little bit but they scheduled our lectures like back to back so we're gonna be just a little bit late for this next lecture now so we just finished the first lecture that we had today for vaccinations and we had it in the chain lecture theater which is honestly where we have most of our lectures and it's pretty much my favorite um lecture theater as you can see these are some of my friends but we're about to go to lunch now and I don't know if we're going to get food from the canteen or if we're going to go out somewhere to get food because I have no lunch with me today. So, I mean, we'll see what we do. So we decided to go out to get food somewhere instead of eating canteen food. This is a f my friend Porik oh. and this is Zlata. And we're going to Yum Thai, which is a place that we like typically go on a regular school day. It's just around on Grafton Street, which is a pretty close walk. So we're heading there now. Um, we might also go to McDonald's as well, but they have um, frittatas in the canteen today and I love the frittatas in the canteen so I'm actually gonna go and get one after we get back to college, so yeah. It is a really small shop, but it's really close to my heart. It's just, it's so tasty and I recommend that everyone do come here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna order my food now and then we're gonna take the rest, take it back to college with us. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna eat it in college where I can get my frittata. And then after lunch, we're gonna go to our next lecture. Okay, so we're back in college now and we're eating our meals. <laughs> um, yeah, I got the chicken lemongrass from Yum Thai and then I'm gonna go get the frittata from the canteen up the front um, at the end. And then we're gonna go to our next class. Cool. <laughs> we have an exam tomorrow and everyone is like, panicking and like stressing so much and it's so funny and we're talking about tears of exhaustion tears of sadness tears of anger and it's all just so much but it's actually fine i promise like yeah everyone gets through it mostly okay lunch time is over we're going to the lecture now and then after the lecture we have the lab um this lecture is going to be interesting like it's about lymphomas which is a type of cancer so i'm really I'm really excited for this lecture not gonna lie we have a lab on next, so I came down to get my lab coat. I'm gonna show the dispensary, which is like my favorite part about this place. And this is all like practical for um yeah and then this is like where we stand when we want to give a consultation and it's just it's honestly really cool this is the cardex that we're gonna look at and it's like a bunch of drugs for the hospital pharmacy so we have like a list of drugs here and we have to like assess all the drugs on here and see if we're okay with like how this is going to be given to the patient and it's just like a simulated type of um, scenario so we're going to do that now and we're going to talk through in the whole group okay so now we're in the second part of the lab in which we're given a sheet that contains a prescription and we're supposed to um 
we're kind of through a scenario where one of us acts as the pharmacist and then the other one acts as the patient and we just kind of go through it um, and see if we're okay with dispensing the prescription or not. And then we can also call the doctor and the demonstrators around and the teachers act as the doctors and it's just a whole like reenacting scenarios. After we sort through the prescription, we come over to the cool little area for like the dispensing and then we kind of work through all of it over here and then we type in our prescription. Um, so the prescription okay, we just got out of the lab and we are now in the locker room. But we have an exam tomorrow, so I feel like everyone's going to leave now, including myself, and go back and try and get a bit of work done because... This, this test tomorrow isn't a funny one, like it's 10% of, of a module and this is a module that I am just a, just a tad bit behind by, maybe like 25, 30 lectures, but it's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell myself that it's fine and eventually it will be fine, so this is what we like to call key procrastination though. Like we love to just stand around these lockers and just like <laughs> pretend like we don't have somewhere to be, but we definitely do. Oh, okay. As I said that. They're literally all leaving. Okay, so I just got back to my room and I'm actually not gonna cook because I have a lot of work to do. Like a lot more than I initially really thought. Um, so I feel like I should get started on some of that. Now that I'm like back home and like the day is kind of done except my very, 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 very long study session that I have to do today, um, I think that's kind of like how a typical day at, our, at RCSI would go. Like we might have labs like once a week or once every two weeks, but I was lucky enough to do this vlog on the day where we actually caught a lab. Um, and it was a good lab. It was a good lab. It was fun. Um, like labs are kind of always fun to be honest because we, we are allowed to have fun with it, you know, while still doing our work. Like we can still just kind of chill at the same time. So I do really like that aspect. Okay, I'm gonna start stu study a little bit. Studying. I'm gonna start studying now. Okay, so that was me doing three hours of work. So I think I'm gonna take a break and maybe get something to eat. Okay, so the meal for today is instant noodles. Um, and I'm also watching Scandal, um, Team Olivia and Jake anyway. Okay, it's now pretty late and I think I'm just about done for the day and I'm gonna go to bed now and hopefully do well on my test tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to sign off really quickly. Um, I'd say thank you so much for watching the video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Um, this is the third year pharmacy student, Ashley, <laughs> signing off. So we just finished our exam <laughs> and there's a petting farm today so we're de-stressing a little bit by petting some cute little rabbits. They're so cute and there's a, there's a horse in there but I have an inherent fear of horses so I will not be branching in there but yeah this is a it's a really cool experience and a really cool way to like really chill out after that hell that could be called an exam we actually went in to come see that's a little pony oh my gosh i am so scared right now oh it's a pig yeah what's what's he he's not gonna do he's not gonna jump you